my name is Gary Chapman, I'm an amateur photographer and the sun's out, so I'm out. Hello, that's us away into Forfar now, all the equipment's in the car and it's a beautiful night, the sun's out. We're not far away from golden hour, we've maybe got half an hour until golden hour kicks off. So I've already took some photos in Forfar, but I'm hoping to get the rest of that done tonight. But first we'll go up to Balmashara Monument so we can see right the way over Forfar, just to give you an idea of what Forfar looks like. So, uh, Aye, see you up there. Hey, we're just about at the top of Balmashana and um, we're going to have a look over far from Balmashana. As you can see, there's things over there. Um, three facts about Forfar last place in Scotland to hang witches. Um, Sigourney Weaver's husband's granddad was from Forfar, and the Forfar Brady was made of Forfar. Oh, there's a surprise. So we're just about there and then we'll have a quick look over. Golden Hour isn't far away and we'll get taking some photos. Okay. Right, that's just arrived at the top of Balmashana. You can see the monument there. And this is the view and there's Forfar. So you kind of get an idea where we're going to take photos. Golden hour just to make a kick off, as you can see when the sun goes down. The last hour before sunset golden hour, that's when you get all the best colours and shadows. So, aye. I think we'll head down into the tune and set up to take some photos. So we thought we'd come down and have a look at where they actually hung the witches uh, before we left the hill. So, uh, it's a fancy bit, it, it's a real tourist attraction. <laughs> As you can see, it's a fancy metal cage. And at least the witches had a bonny view for them when they were getting hung. Maybe that was part of the appeal to hang them here. But, aye. That's it. That's the spot. Okay, I think it's time to leave Bommy Tower now, so... Bommy Hill, so... We'll see you soon. There's a coo with pet cows. There's the coos. The coos. Uh -uh. That's us back at the car, so we're just about to head off to the Strenath Priory and take some photos there before we're not allowed to get in. And uh, there might be another fact about the Strenath Priory coming up, you never know. So I'm full of knowledge. Full of it! That's us back in the car. And it's just getting to golden hour now, so I think we'll be cooking my gas, get down, get set up. And if my camera stays straight, we'll get set up and we'll get some photos done so we can get them posted. <clears throat> get them on the computer and then get them posted. Hopefully tomorrow, maybe. So the Strenath Priory, we'll go down there and we'll see what exciting things there is to take photos of. Okay. So a wee bit more information about Forfar. It's uh, situated on the east coast of Scotland. About 14 miles from Dundee, um, it's in the county of Angus, and there's heaps of stuff to know about Forfar, heaps of stuff. And if you really want to know about Forfar, Google it, because that's what Google's for. <laughs> Come on in. Somebody's dog's barking. There's this down a Priory. It's not as fancy as I thought it would be. It's kind of the first time I've been here. But I suppose it's different. Might get some good photos. So that's us at the of Priory. As you can see, it's just a bit of a ruin. 
and I think if you were a monk and you stayed in Orpha, I think this is where you would hang out. You'd make wine and stand about and say nothing. So, aye, we better get set up, take some photos. Now back to the car and off to the next place. I think it's Lewisham Memorial Church. Um, aye, fancy church. Big church in Flopper. But I don't know much about it. I'm sure I can think of some kind of fact to make up. Maybe to make it up. Or just look it up with Google. Because that's what Google's for. You didn't know that. Okay, right, let's go. Lewisham Memorial Church. Yeah. Facts about Lewisham Memorial Church. Uh, it was built in 1912, I think it was, and it took two years to complete. Built out of red stone, red sandstone, and it was a guy who was a linen manufacturer, I'm sure. It was his idea to have a, a big fancy church in the East End of Fulford, so that's why they named it after him, I think. So, uh, aye, let's go and take some photos of that place. So we're taking photos at Lewisham Memorial Church. Got the camera set up. The church is there. It's set at ISO 100, uh, F8 setting. And the shutter speed is 160 for a second, so that gives us a darker shot and then we should be able to bring up the colours when we go and get the photos sorted out at home. So. Right, so we'll go somewhere else. Lawson's done. Um, trying to find some more places to take photos in for for that I've not already took photos of. But it is a stunning, stunning church. Two years to build. Oh well. Back to the car it is. So, let's go. So, engine on and way down the town I think. Uh, so if you were to come to Forfa, I think one of the best things to do would be to maybe go and get a bridey. Dear though, mine, £2.50. But tasty. We call them elephants logs because they're that big. But they're, uh, they are very tasty. And it's a highlight of Forfa that it's famous for so so we've ended our, that's us at four for law, and we've ended our second part of four for here. Um, it's looking bonny tonight, all the colours are changing. We've been about tonight, we've been through a few places. So, uh, Dick, in any facts about four for law, to be honest, I'm sure if you Google it, you might get, you might get some, because that's what Google's for. But remember if you like this video you can like and subscribe which is always handy and uh, I hope to make a heap more videos and if you need to find out more about Forfa, Google it, okay? <laughs>